وَالْعَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ Very difficult. They forgive people out of love. Not غَافِرِينَ Not غَافِرِينَ عَافِينَ غَافِر is someone who forgives. But عَاف is someone who forgives out of love. You know when you forgive someone and they offend you and you forgive them? First of all, most people say, Brother, I know that was a nice khutbah and I know I should forgive but my situation is special. You don't understand, this guy was really messed up. He doesn't deserve forgiveness. By the way, you never forgive someone who deserves it. By definition, forgiveness means to give it to somebody who doesn't deserve it. And you're not forgiving for them. You're not exacting forgive. you're not giving them forgiveness because they want it. Or because they deserve it. You're doing it for yourself because you want to be in this list. You want to be among these people that are considered muttaqeen. That's why they forgive people. Especially those who work for the sake of Allah Azza wa If you volunteer at a masjid or at an Islamic organization, especially in the situation of family, there's a lot of feuds, there's a lot of things that come up and people get friction among each other. This is where shaitan wants friction. Inna shaitana yanzahu baynakum. Among yourselves, shaitan will no doubt, he will try to cause dissent among you. And these are the times we have to remember what afina anil nas. You know the Sahaba understood this really beautifully well. Hassan radiallahu anhu was one time, he's sitting there and his servant brings him drink. And when he was pouring the drink, he dropped it. He dropped the drink. Of course this upset the, the Sahabi radiallahu anhu. So immediately he recited this ayah. وَالْكَاظِمِينَ الْغَيْظِ Those who suppress their anger. Those who swallow their anger. Hassan says, I've swallowed my anger. He heard the ayah, he said, okay, I'm not upset any, anymore. The servant continues to recite, he says, وَالْعَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ And they lovingly forgive people. He says, عَفَوْتُكَ I forgave you too. Then he, then he recites the end of the ayah, Allah says, وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ It is Allah who loves those who excel. Who excel in their religion, who excel in their consciousness of Allah. He says, go, you're a free man. He, sl- he set him free. Because just because he heard the ayah, these ayat are supposed to exact change in our behavior. So here we have three things Allah Azza wa mentions. الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ فِي السَّرَّاءِ وَالْبَرَّاءِ Those who spend when it's easy and when it's hard. وَالْكَاظِمِينَ الْغَيْظِ Those who suppress their anger consistently. And then وَالْعَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ And those who pardon people out of love. And here it implies also out of love of Allah. One thing about forgiving people because it seems to be a big problem for Muslims. We're very nice to the secretary at work and to the boss. When we come to the masjid, we come with a frown. There's a problem. That brother, yeah, he's nice, may Allah forgive him. And you start with all the flaws he has. We're not forgiving of people, we're very cutthroat when it comes to each other. We have to learn to be different. And in this regard, I share with you just one reminder that I shared with a few students last night. Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu, probably few of there, there can't be any comparison between the love he has for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and anybody else. His love for the Messenger surpasses anybody else's. Radiallahu anhu wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. On top of this, his daughter is married to the Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So not only does he love him because he is the Messenger of Allah, he loves him because he's family. His daughter is accused. In Surah Nur we find the incident, his daughter is accused. And his daughter is accused by someone who he used to give some allowance to. Now those of you that have daughters, imagine your daughter is accused in an ugly way, like our mother was accused, Ummul Mu'mineen. Just imagine the rage you would feel, the anger you would have. And on top of this ad that this is not just anybody's daughter, this is not just any woman, this is the mother of the believers. So accusing her is an attack not just on her, but on her husband and on the deen of Islam. It's an attack on the dignity of Islam altogether. This incredible violation, this enormous, enormous, you know, attack, and here we find Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu, as how big this man's heart is, he exacts his anger by discontinuing the allowance. That's all he does. He discontinues giving allowance. And Allah Azza wa set such a high standard, move up inshaAllah ta'ala as much as you can. Allah set such a high standard for him, He tells him, He gives him advice in the Qur'an, فَلْيَعْفُوا Then he should forgive out of love. They should forgive out of love. وَلْيَصْفَحُوا They should turn the page. 
أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Wouldn't you love that Allah would forgive you? Now listen to this carefully. On the one hand, imagine this scale, okay, there's a scale. On the one hand, there's the anger of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu against this man. It's fair. He, sh- he deserves to be, you know, punished. But on the other hand, Allah gives him either your anger weighs more or your love of being forgiven by Allah weighs, weighs more. I'll give you the choice. أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ So when you get, the next time you get upset, you and I get upset, remind ourselves, is the offense that you that has made you upset, does it compare to the anger and the situation of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu? Does it compare? And does it compare that if you forgive out of love of Allah, and out of, in a loving fashion, if you forgive, then what Allah is offering you is your forgiveness. Is your anger and your revenge worth more? Or is the forgiveness of Allah that He's offering you worth more? What is worth more to you? You will forget about whether the person deserves it or not, whether they're a nice guy or not, whether they even acknowledge they did something wrong or not. You don't care. All you care about is Allah is offering you your forgiveness. 